I'm Brad with Fry Glass, and today I'm going to tell you about a technology that stops forced entry crimes. After 30 years in the glass protection business, I've seen some very inventive techniques on surveillance cameras. Searching the internet for CCTV footage of forced entry crimes such as burglaries, robberies, and active shooter events has become a regular part of my week. Police will often upload these videos in an effort to get information from anyone that may have knowledge of the crime and this helps them catch the bad guys. But in the thousands of hours of video that I've watched, one thing is for certain and that is that bad actors will continue to evolve as we bolster our defenses. We're in a war of wills and our desire to keep them out has to be greater than their desire to get in. To get to the magnitude of this problem, we can look at the cyber industry, for example, how we're constantly having to evolve and update our malware and antivirus in order to keep the ever-evolving hackers from getting into our systems. Yet in the physical world, we're using the same old products we've been using for years. And the bad guys know how to get past our locked doors and they're no longer deterred by security cameras and alarm systems. They're still successfully forcing their way in. So let's look at some of the existing security measures that are no longer cut in the mustard. These need to be paired with other technology to create a more robust system for preventing these forced entry crimes. Security cameras are an excellent tool for documenting events as they unfold, and this really helps investigators solve crimes. We even have very sophisticated systems that use facial, vehicle, and even behavioral recognition. The new software can detect individuals that have been banned from a property and even the vehicle they're known to drive, as well as aggressive behavior. With the proliferation of cameras into security systems and public places in general, these technological advents have certainly made security cameras more useful as an early warning system for certain types of crimes. But cameras alone are not a barrier to entry and will not stop a crime from occurring in most cases. Alarm systems are really necessary for alerting police, and a loud alarm is undoubtedly going to scare off a certain percentage of would-be intruders. But it takes considerable time for the alarm company to make the initial call to the property owner before a call to the police even occurs. This wastes valuable time and criminals are using the statistical data in their favor, betting on the response time taking longer than they would need to commit the crime and get away. Police response times vary greatly and according to an FBI report, 60% of active shooter crimes end before police arrive. In a burglary, that time can be even longer. Once police are alerted, it can take several minutes to over an hour for them to arrive, depending on the proximity of officers to the alarm and the amount of other police activity that's taking place at the same time. False alarms are common, so police may not place a priority on responding to a burglar alarm. And bad actors use these timelines to their advantage. They know statistically that they have a good chance of committing the crime and escaping before police arrive. Windows and glass doors are the Achilles heel of any building. And this is where bad guys are coming in. Traditional security window films and laminated glass are no match for the heavier tools that bad actors have learned to bring along as part of their regular arsenal. Entry takes only seconds when it used to take minutes or deter crimes altogether. Not anymore. Apparently sledgehammers are a standard issue when graduating Bad Guy Academy these days because we're seeing them in almost all of the new surveillance crimes. I mean, they're just bringing this heavy tool along with them. So we now need a much more robust glass protection system to keep them out. New retrofit panels from Riot Glass, for example, have been shown to prevent forced entry attempts, and even with sledgehammers. This innovative system uses unbreakable containment grade polycarbonate panels in conjunction with our patented framing system to create a shield that makes forced entry through the glass virtually impossible. This is the same type of system used in correctional facilities and psychiatric hospitals. When you absolutely positively must keep someone out of the building, this is the system to use. It's far lighter than the heavy ballistic grade security glass and it doesn't require any modifications to hinges or closers. It simply bolts onto your virtually any existing door or window frame. The system comes in bronze or clear anodized. It also uh, can be powder coated in any custom color. And all the fasteners are hidden under a decorative cover that makes it look seamless so it just blends in with any aluminum type storefront or even a wood uh, type of window system. All these security measures together create a layered system that will likely delay, if not completely deter, a bad actor, buying precious time and thus saving lives and protecting property. It's time for the civilized world to take a stand against forced entry crimes. Don't let your facility, school, or home get behind and become an attractive target. Start implementing one technology at a time. Barriers to entry are the best place to start. When the balloon goes up, you'll be glad you did.
Thanks for watching.